There are lots of ways to accept payments online, whether it be Venmo or just plain old PayPal or Apple Cash or anything else that you can think of. But what if you want to accept payments on your WordPress website? Well, there are lots of options like WooCommerce or easy digital downloads, but sometimes you don't want to or need to set up a whole cart just to get a little bit of money from your website visitors. So today we are going to look at three easy ways to accept payments on your WordPress website. Let's get started. And I should say here that you will either need a PayPal account or a Stripe account already. Now, some of these plugins will walk you through how to set up a Stripe account, but I'm not going to show you that in this video. You should have one or the other already set up. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to, like I said, show you three ways to accept payments on your WordPress website. The first is going to be just the standard PayPal buy now button. So let's go ahead and see how to do that. We're going to go to the PayPal website. I am logged in on my account and there are a few quick links up here. One is PayPal checkout. If you don't see that, it could be under pay and get paid, but I'm going to click the PayPal checkout button here. And we are given several ways to integrate, but I'm going to choose the button generator because we just copy and paste code here. So I'll click start setup and then we choose some API credentials here. I'm going to just pick the standard, uh, the basic ones. We can choose the type of button, fixed price, single select list, or variable price. Again, I'll just do fixed price here. Uh, and let's say we want to let people buy me coffee. So the item price, we'll make that uh, $4.99. Apparently, I like expensive coffee. Uh, current currency we can choose usd no shipping fee and we'll say no tax we'll just make this a a simple donation we'll say this is how it'll look on mobile if we click desktop we could see how it'll look on desktop and then we can choose the button style so right now it's vertical we can choose horizontal i generally like horizontal better uh, we could choose the shape as well as the color if we want it to fit in with some sort of color scheme. Uh, blue is generally the standard. So I will go with blue, uh, with blue. And then we can choose PayPal, check out, buy now, or pay. I will choose buy now. So that way people kind of, sometimes people think that you need a PayPal account to pay, but you don't. So I will now click copy code. The code was copied to the clipboard. I will go to a new page, buy me coffee. So now I'm here in the WordPress editor. We have HTML copied, so we will need the HTML block, the custom HTML block. I will paste that here. We've got some script added. I'll click publish. And if we view the page, we have the buy now buttons here. If I click buy now, a little PayPal lock will show up, log us in. It's going to yell at me because I'm trying to log in on the same account that I'd pay, but we have $4.99 here. So notice that this is only the buttons. So we would need to add a little bit of uh, copy or we would at least need to add the price of $4.99. Okay, so now we have uh, a simple page, buy me coffee, $4.99, and then the PayPal buttons. Now, if you want something a little bit more advanced, uh, we could do that as well. I'm gonna show you two different plugins here. One is GiveWP. And so uh, GiveWP is a free plugin. I'm not going to show you how to do the full setup here. Uh, if you want to know how to do that, you can press the card, uh, click the card that's showing up right above me. It'll also be in the description down below, but I do have a full video on how to configure GiveWP. 
Uh, so right now it's already installed and configured. If you want to add your own form, you can click add form. I already have a form called buy me coffee. So uh, why don't we just call this, uh, you know, donate to the cause. Okay. Or if you are, you know, selling some sort of digital good uh, or doing a crowdfunding campaign, you can do that as well here. So uh, this is the the form I'm creating, we can choose from two templates. I like the multi-step donation form because it looks really nice. We have a bunch of uh, headlines and descriptions. We can add an image uh, and a primary color if we'd like. We have the donate text. Next is the payment amount. Okay, so uh, choose amount here. They can choose if we... Uh, scroll up to donate options here we can uh, do a set donation or we can have um, multiple amounts right so we can have a donation level of 10 25 but if we just want to do a set donation again let's just do 4.99 here uh, we can do that as well uh, and then we can enable or disable a custom amount because we want to kind of compare apples to or uh, apples here. Uh, let's do that. But again, if you have, if you want people to be able to pledge whatever they want, you can do that easily with give WP. That's really the power of give WP here. And again, this is a totally free plugin. Uh, so uh, we have the donation options. We have the form fields. Again, this is all configured already, uh, but we have PayPal standard set up here. So Give WP supports uh, PayPal as well as Stripe for free out of the box. Uh, and then you can buy add-ons for other payment gateways. Uh, so we'll just keep all of these the same for simplicity's sake. Again, if you want to walk through all of these steps, uh, you can check out the video in the cards, but I will just click publish. Okay, so once I've done that, we can go back to the page we just created. And let's, I'll organize this a little bit for you. So, and give uh, supports the block editor. So we can add the donation form right here. We can select the one we just created and we can see it in line and see how it works. Okay, and then again, this is a PayPal form as well, so people would log in with PayPal. So if we click update, we can see how this works on the front end. All right, so we've got our PayPal buttons, we have give WP, and then we can put in the information and click donate now. Uh, now you will be redirected, right? There's some text here. You'll be redirected to PayPal to use your PayPal account or with a credit or debit card. I think this is important to highlight because as I said, a lot of people think that you need a PayPal account to use PayPal when you don't necessarily. So I like GiveWP because it is free and it's uh, flexible. But if you're looking for a little bit more power, there is a plugin called WP Simple Pay Pro. Now, WP Simple Pay Pro is a paid plugin uh, owned by Sand Hills Development. They also make easy digital downloads. If we go to wpsimplepay.com, we can see the pricing here. So, make this a little bigger so you can see it. Get my head out of the way. Uh, so, for personal, it's $99 a year. And the nice thing about WP Simple Play, Pay is it integrates with Stripe, so you can also use Apple Pay and Google Pay. Uh, it has affiliate WP integration if you want that. Uh, and then you can go up from there. So at $149 per year, you can also do subscription and installment plans, uh, free trials and things like that. But if you are just looking for easily embeddable payment forms, you can get that for $99 a year. There will be a link to this in the description below. So I'm going to activate WP Simple Pay Pro, and then I'm going to connect with my Stripe account. Again, if you, uh, if you have a Stripe account, you can use that email address. And if you don't, you will get set up with a Stripe account. 
All right. It's also worth noting here that you are automatically connected in test mode. So you would need to disable test mode and then reconnect. So if I disable test mode, I'll need to reconnect with my Stripe account, not in test mode. And this is really nice because you don't need to fuss with API keys or anything like that. Okay, so once we have all of this set up, there are a few areas of WP Simple Pay where we can configure things like the payment confirmation pages and, and emails and things like that. But if we just want to dive in, we can click Add New under Simple Pay Pro. We can add a title and a description for the general form. Then we can choose if we want this embedded, overlaid, or as a Stripe checkout. And then we can use the global settings or we can redirect to a specific page. So if you have multiple simple pay forms, each going to different products or each having a different uh, success page, you can add that here. So we're going to keep this as embedded. We'll go to payment. We have this as the global setting. You can add different prices to this form. So we can have, again, a multi-priced form here. Again, I'll just do $4.99. We can also allow the amount to be determined by the user, just like with GiveWP. Uh, and then we can look at the form fields. Now I'm highlighting the form fields here because if you want to use Apple and Google Pay buttons, you need to actually add that to the form. Uh, which I like to do. I think those are very convenient payment methods for a lot of people. So here we've got the Apple Pay, Google Pay buttons, email address, price, payment method, and the checkout button. We'll click publish. Now, WP Simple Pay does not have block editor support yet, so we will copy the short code for this payment form here. And then, so I'm getting a warning here because I am on a local site, but that's okay. If you were on a live site, they'd be able to verify. So let's go back now to our page, to the Buy Me Coffee page. And I'll just put this right at the top. So again, we'll add a heading, WP Simple Pay, and then we'll paste the short code. We'll click Update, and we'll view the page. And now we have our WP Simple Pay form. So this is the title and the description that I left in the form. I should probably put buy me coffee or donate to the cause. But then we also have the Google Pay button, which will bring up the Google Pay information here. Or if I click out of that, I can put in a regular card number and click pay now. So there you have it. There are three ways to easily add payment buttons to your WordPress site. WP Simple Pay, I think, is the most flexible. You can create multiple forms and add different methods and subscriptions. The PayPal button uh, requires no extra plugin. You just create it through your PayPal account and then paste the HTML in an HTML block. And give WP also extremely flexible and free. And you can connect your PayPal account or you can connect uh, your Stripe account if you have a Stripe account. So under Payment Gateways, we can do Stripe, PayPal, or offline donations, all within the free version of GiveWP. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, comments, or you want to see something more in depth, leave a comment down below. And if you liked this video, be sure to like it, press the thumbs up button down below, and subscribe to this channel for more great content.